friends, and welcome to another video. Today, I'm gonna be trying out a full face of 7-Eleven makeup. That's right, 7-Eleven has evolved. They are now competitors with Sephora. Just in case you guys don't know, 7-Eleven is a 24-hour convenience store that I and many others frequent for chips. Now, when you think about it, I guess it makes sense that 7-Eleven might want to sell makeup. I mean, they sell a lot of things. Beyond snacks like Airhead flavored slushies, chicken wings, and bugles, they also sell toiletries like razors and toothpaste. So if I saw them start to sell typical drugstore makeup brands, I guess I wouldn't really be that surprised. But this is their own makeup line, which did surprise surprise me. Their line is called Simply Me Beauty, which they launched about a week ago, and everything is supposed to cost between three and five dollars. So think in the couple of big gulps, throw in a bag of Funyuns range. So let's head out to our local 7-Eleven, pick up some makeup, and see how it is. Cause I like makeup, and I also like snacks. Nothing like a good morning run to 7-Eleven. I would like a taquito for breakfast. I think I've had a taquito for breakfast. It's not bad. Okay, so we're at 7-Eleven now. I'm gonna head in and pick up a full face of beauty products. They have 37 things. I don't think I'm gonna get all 37, but I'm gonna get one of each category to create a 7-Eleven look. So off the bat, I see some BB creams and some concealers. They only have a couple of colors, so I'm gonna guess light. And then right next to it are the eyeliner and the mask. So let's go for these two. Oh, no, no, please. So I don't see any contour and stuff, but I'm gonna get a highlighter, a bronzer, and also this orangey blush. Then let's definitely get an eyebrow and an eyeshadow. And then, oh, down here, tools and lip stuff. Well, we should definitely get some of these lashes. And then let's definitely get one of these lipsticks. I think that'll work. Yeah. Okay, so we got kicked out for filming, but I think I got my full face of products. Um, I spent $50.90. I did want to get some snacks though, so we're gonna go to a different 7-Eleven that's just down the road and get some taquitos, etc. So something I noticed that they didn't have at the last store was some type of like setting powder or powder. So as we're going to the next 7-Eleven, I'm just gonna see if they also have a display and just like poke around a little bit, but we're mostly going for snacks. So we tried to be a little more incognito this time. Basically, I got some spicy snacks for later to really, you know, give the makeup a run for its money. We've got some taquitos for now. Tyler's about to dig in. God bless. And then we've also got this down here. It's not just a super gulp or a big gulp, it's a double gulp. I've literally just bought more Diet Pepsi than anyone should ever drink. You might turn into aspartame if you drink this whole thing. I did actually find some translucent setting powder in there. It was down by the tools. Aha, here it is. So I think I've actually got everything now. We were kicked out of the last one, but that won't stop us from getting the setting powder. I think us getting kicked out is all the evidence you need that this video was definitely not sponsored. <laughs> Despite the super gulp next to me. <laughs> All right, so we're back with my 7-Eleven haul. This double gulp is really sweating right now. It's really just, it's, it's all over the table. For scale, my head. All right, so let's dive into the makeup. I'm gonna try it on all now and then wear it for the rest of the day and see how it lasts, how it is what happens. So let's start with the um, eyebrow stuff. Usually I start with my eyebrows. So I've got this dark brow powder and wax. I usually use an eyebrow pencil, so I don't usually use this method, but I think I do the wax first. I don't know if that did much besides maybe cement them down. All right, so here's a little bit of this darker powder. Oh, oh, that's dark. I'm making quite a bold brow, so that's the choice for the day. This is a matriarch of a caterpillar family. It's like the monarch. Literally. We just spool it out a little bit, just kind of smooth things over. The weird thing is they're kind of feathery, so they don't really look like they've been drawn on with the Sharpie. They're just very wide. So let's move on to the eyeshadow. I'm gonna grab an eyeshadow primer and slap it on real quick, and then we'll keep going. All right, so my eyeshadow is this Aubergine Matte and Shimmer Eyeshadow Collection. It looks edible. It does not smell edible. What is an aubergine? Is it like an eggplant? I feel like it must be like a zucchini. Uh, let me look it up. It's an eggplant. It is an eggplant. It's another word for eggplant. I've watched Veggie Tales. I know my vegetables. All right, so I'm just gonna grab some of these colors and put them on. I mean, this is just the base shade, but it seems to be on and doing what it's supposed to be doing. And then I'm just gonna go into a couple of these deeper shades. I would call that more of a pumpkin than an eggplant, but Maybe that's just me. Oh, this shade at the very bottom is more of the eggplant shade. This like more reddish purple in the middle is quite brown orangey though. It's a little bit of like a pumpkin spice surprise. 
So next is concealer and foundation. They only had three colors for each product, so hopefully this works. All right, so I'm just gonna squeeze a bit out on here. I don't wanna just use my fingers because of all of the taquitos, so let's go with the beauty blender. Yeah, we do not want taquitos on your face. I mean, I want taquitos in my face, but not necessarily on my face. Oh yeah, I think that looks like a color that's gonna work. This is the lightest one they have though. So if you were like super pale, it probably wouldn't work for you. It smells like sunscreen. Kind of reminds me of, of the summer, of the summertime. I think that it feels pretty nice on the face. It's just, it's looking a little shiny. I do look a little bit like an Academy Award, you know, some type of, of golden man. I do have translucent powder though, so hopefully that'll help. All right, so next is the concealer, also in the color light. I'm feeling pretty good about this color match, so hopefully this will be the same color. It's nice and like a little bit on the watery side. It looks like it's not gonna be like super full coverage, but it does not feel oily. I'll just do a couple of strokes to cover up my mustache just for good measure. I kind of like this concealer. It does seem to blend in very well. Although I would have liked like a little bit more coverage for my under eye bags, suitcases, totes. Fanny packs? my under eye fanny packs. Usually right now I use loose setting powder to like bake everything down. I don't have any loose setting powder because they didn't have any at 7-Eleven, but they did have this translucent all shades matte powder. Oh, oh, and they've given me a little sponge and a little mirror. All right, so I'm just gonna use this big brush and just try and set everything down. Oh, it's, it's flying up. I'm dreaming of a translucent Christmas. I mean, it does seem to be mattifying. How much it's mattifying, it's unclear. This is like the first thing that worries me a little bit just because I do create oil. I'm an oil producer, if you will. So I'm just trying to put as much setting powder as possible to start out with. All right, so now that I've used the setting powder, Maybe we should go in with the eyeliner. So this is the liquid felt tip eyeliner in black. So it definitely looks like a felt tip marker. That's definitely the vibe I'm getting. There's a little wing. There's a little wing template. So I'm gonna drag the eyeliner across and try and finish it off. This is pretty matte. It's a little bit inflexible. Like it is like a marker. It's not like a brush at the end at all, but it does seem to be doing the job. As long as it doesn't run out of ink, I think this is pretty legit. All right, so next I'm gonna do all my cheek stuff. So I've got a bronzer for contouring, a blush and a highlighter. This is the Matte and Shimmer Bronzer in Sun Glow. I'm just gonna grab like a little contouring brush, put a little bit of that matte bronzer on there and do the thing. That looks pretty good actually. I'll put a little bit under the double chin. Maybe it's a little bit on the warm side, but I actually like it. All right, so next is the color blush in the color Coral. It's quite an orange shade, huh? Oh, there it is. At first I couldn't see it. Funnily enough, the orange kind of complements the like pumpkin-y color on my eyes. I didn't really go in for the darker color. It's uh, a little bit intimidating to me. So let me just do a little bit of translucent powder just to blend it in slightly and then we'll highlight. So this highlighter is called the Radiant Highlighter. It's kind of like a yellowish color and like a more orangey, rose goldy color. There it is. I can see it in person. Can you see it on camera? Yeah, a little bit. It's a pretty subtle highlight. I think in general, the cheek products blended in pretty well though. So I'm pretty pleased with them overall. The like rose orange gold highlighter doesn't help the Oscar effect, but maybe that's just what we're going with. So we just have lashes, mascara, and lipstick left. I thought I would just stop for a little taquito break. Is that good? It's pretty cold, but it's so good. All right, so these are my fake lashes and I pulled out my lash glue right here, but they actually give you a little bit of lash glue and like a little bit of a container up here. So they're just like 7-Eleven's got your back. So there's not that much lash glue in this thing. So because I'm gonna have to do a couple of attempts, I'm gonna use my lash glue just cause I'm gonna run out of theirs. Nope. <laughs> well, good to see you too. Let's just put a little bit on here. Boop, 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 boop. I actually think these lashes look pretty nice and natural. The biggest issue is gonna be my ability to put them on well. All right, so after my fake lashes, I'm gonna use this volume and length mascara in black. Oh, wow. So it's like a rubber brush, which is cool. And they've got a nice spiky ball at the bottom for your bottom lashes. If you look at the formula, it looks to be like very elastic almost. Doesn't it look like melted cheese? A little bit. Reminds me of the taquito I just ate. I miss it already. All right, so these are my fake lashes with mascara on them. I think they look pretty voluminous. From far away, it kind of gives like a soft look, but I think that from close up, you can really see like the amount of lash I've got going on. There's kind of little, uh, little spider eyes. All right, so last but not least is the lip color. This is the lip crayon in the color blush. 
Oh wow, this is more orange than I expected. That's a Cheeto. I don't dislike it with the rest of the look, but it's definitely now like a look. Like I look like a cup of butternut squash soup. I guess because it's called blush, I expected it to be more of like a peachy nude, but this is 100% mac and cheese. Besides that, it smells and tastes like a Crayola crayon. So it's got some good nostalgia vibes to it. But with this lip color, this is my entire 7-Eleven makeup look. Overall, everything was definitely usable. Some things were a little bit better than others, but there was nothing that just straight up didn't work. I'm gonna wear it for the rest of the day and see how it lasts. All right, let's go. I'm taking my big gulp out on the town, but um, you know, just wanna show you guys the first sip and see how much the big gulp straw would take away from my lipstick. Uh, Definitely a mark on there. This lipstick isn't like a liquid lipstick or a matte lipstick, so I don't expect it to be super transfer proof, but I did get a good nice skid on there. I've made an alarming amount of progress on this thing. No, you've already drinking like two cans of Coke. So it's been like an hour. Does my makeup look pretty good? I think it looks great. It's not too warm out. It's actually kind of cool out. So I think that the oil is being suppressed. I think I should probably stop soon. It's just too much aspartame. I think the lipstick is definitely fading a little bit, but it's actually looking less orange in this light and also with some fading. It's looking more like the color that I thought it would be. So I'm very pleased actually. Uh, we're gonna take this away from you. You're drinking too much of this stuff. It's, it's like very warm. It's really flat. There's no bubbles left. All right, so it's been about five hours and um, this is where I'm at with the double gulp, but I think that the lipstick has pretty much faded off at this point. But I will say that like four to five hours for like a non-liquid lipstick is pretty good. I didn't love this color, but there were a couple of other colors of this product, which I may indulge in. So next I've got these flaming hot items. I have actually gathered a decent amount of shine and oil as it is, I'm sure you guys can see. So I'm gonna re-powder up just a little bit just to give it a fighting chance. And then we'll see how the makeup stands up to some spicy snacks, hot Cheetos and Takis. It's like Mordor. It tastes so good. I love this video. I'm just allowed to eat junk food. This has been a really healthy day. I would say don't try this at home, kids. All right, I'm gonna keep eating these and then we'll check back in once I gather some, some moisture. All right, I'm, I'm done. I didn't finish the bag, but I think, I think I have to be done. I'm craving broccoli now. Okay, so this is my face after all of the flaming hot snacks. Unintentionally, actually what's going on is that my nose is running and my eyes are like slightly watery. But besides that, I don't think the flaming hots really did much besides taste amazing. I think that just wearing the makeup around for a few hours did a lot more. So for my final little segment tonight, I'm gonna to be using the 7-Eleven makeup remover wipes because some wipes are good at removing the eye makeup and some not so much. And also, we got another taquito. The Monterey Jack ones are definitely the best, but they were out of them, so we had to get the chicken chipotle, which aren't bad, but not quite the same. All right, so I'm gonna try and like take off like half my makeup so we can see how it does. It seems to be taking off everything except for the eyeliner and the fake lash pretty well. It does feel like I have to kind of pull on stuff a little bit, but when I look at the face, it actually looks like really clean. Oh yeah, there we go. Goodbye. I wouldn't say I would replace my current makeup wipes with these ones, but they get the job done in a pinch. Same with the Chipotle chicken taquitos. They're not the Monterey Jack ones, but in a pinch. So that was my day wearing 7-Eleven makeup. I probably look really crazy right now, so maybe I'll try and like talk from one side or the other. So I've divided the products into things that I like and probably would use again, and things that I probably wouldn't use again. So over here, I've got the translucent setting powder, the eyebrow gel, the concealer, and the BB cream. And on this side, I've got the eyeshadow, the blush, bronzer, and highlighter, the lipstick, mascara, eyeliner, which fell over, um, and the makeup wipes. The only thing not pictured is the fake lashes, which I don't usually wear, but the fake lashes that I had were just as good as any other I've tried. I would say that my least favorite product was probably the setting powder. Unfortunately, I just don't think it could really stand up to the oil glands on my face. My favorite product out of all of them though, was this eyeliner marker. I thought it did a good job. I thought it was easy to draw with. It went on very matte, but still pretty comfortable. And as long as this thing doesn't dry out, I think this is a winner. So overall, I would say I had a mixed but pretty positive experience with this 7-Eleven makeup. My insides had a similarly mixed but less positive experience today with the double gulp taquitos and flaming hot snacks that I ate today. But you know, 
it was for science. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked that video, make sure to smash that like button. And if you wanna see more videos like this, make sure to smash that subscribe button. And if you've already smashed that subscribe button, make sure to also smash that little bell icon in the middle to turn on post notifications so you get a notification every time that I post. A big shout out to Jasmine for watching. Thanks for watching, Jasmine. And I will see you guys next time.